Hello, and thank you for coming this evening. Our first piece is by Valerie Coleman. She's a flutist and a composer, and formerly of the wonderful wind quintet, the Amani Winds. This piece honors the Native Americans and African slaves who traverse the Trail of Tears. I hope you enjoy.
Hi everyone, my name is Scott Christian. I'm a percussionist with the National Symphony Orchestra. Uh, I'd like to introduce the next two pieces that we're gonna play. The next piece that we'll play is by Sarah Kirkland Snyder called Thread and Fray. Um, as you saw, uh, Jennifer Kim, our violinist, she's actually going to go and play the viola on this next piece, and our clarinetist, Peter Kane, um, is normally our bass clarinetist in the National Symphony, and he's going to also play the bass clarinet, and I'm going to be playing the marimba back there. Um, Thread and Fray is a, is a piece that um, Sarah Kirkland Snyder wrote. Uh, she was listening to a Dutch composer a lot at the time named Louis Andriessen, um, one of the things that will happen in this piece that you'll hear is, is that sometimes we'll have the same exact line, but off just a beat from each other. So it almost creates kind of like a digital delay effect or something that's kind of makes it feel a little out of sorts. There's stuff that we play in unison together and then somebody kind of breaks off and takes like a more lyrical line. Um, she uses the interval of a major six, which is an interval of a distance of notes. So if you've ever heard like N, B, C, the N, B is a major six. Those are going to be the first two notes that we play. And then she plays around with that interval quite a bit in this piece. Um, after that, then Peter and I are going to play a duet for bass clarinet and marimba called Verve by uh, Nathan Daughtry. And this piece is a very... Uh, groovy, jazzy piece uses um, the blues scale and octatonic scale and stuff like that. Um, it's a lot of fun to play. It's very syncopated, meaning that there's a lot of rhythms that are happening off the beat, kind of that you don't think is going to happen, usually a quality of jazz. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the next two pieces.
Good evening, everyone. We're going to continue the program with Alexandria, sorry, uh, Alexia Louis Echoes of Time. Alexia Louis was really inspired by Olivier Messiaen's Quartet for the End of Time. She channeled a lot of the inspiration that she got from, um, from her Chinese Canadian heritage and also the uh, artistic inspirations that she got from other composers, Miss Yan being um, very, very important one of them, and she created this piece sort of to complete a program around the quartet for the end of time. Um, Miss Yan was a prisoner of war when he wrote um, his quartet, and um, you can just imagine the sounds of destruction and chaos uh, that he was around when he was composing this work, and as a very religious man, um, there are so many parts in in the quartet where it's very uh, meditative, and so just that juxtaposition of um, sounds of destruction and um, pain uh, just sort of balances out with moments of serenity and prayer. Uh, and um, I think that this piece that we're about to perform did a, a beautiful job of adapting what already existed and putting a spin on, on it and turning it into something completely her own. Actually, this group uh, came together for the first time a year ago on the Millennium Stage to perform Messian's Quartet for the End of Time, and it feels very fitting that we would come back uh, to perform the Echoes of Time. I hope you enjoy it.
That was a piece by Kevin Day. Um, the last piece that we're going to be playing on this program is by the composer Missy Mazzoli. We actually, uh, the NSO gave a premiere of her violin concerto last season. Uh, this piece is called Still Life with Avalanche, which I think is a really cool poetic name. Um, a couple things uh, to listen for in this uh, are that the flute, violin, and myself all are going to be playing harmonicas. Uh, and these, these tones kind of weave in and out of uh, some pitches that the cello and the clarinet are playing. Um, the, the piano will come in with just little fragments of a melody at first, and then finally that will open up into a, a melody that um, is probably most realized, uh, I don't know, about a couple minutes into the piece by the violin. That same melody comes back at the end of the piece uh, where I start to play it on the vibraphone, but what she has uh, me do is, is I also have a, a brake drum from a car, a hi-hat that you'd find like on a drum set, and also a snare drum with the, the snares turned off, and also a kick drum that I'm playing with my foot. And she starts to replace these tones in this melody with different noise instruments that I'm doing, and after a while the melody gets overtaken by actually just drums while the, the harmonicas start to come back into play, um, echoing what happened at the very beginning of the piece. Anyway, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy uh, Still Life with Avalanche by Missy Mazzoli.
Thank you for joining us at Millennium Stage. We hope you enjoy the rest of your evening at the Kennedy Center. <laughs>